It's ISC 2023 in Barcelona and we are on the 3D Storm stand and I'm joined by Judy from Killerview. Hi Judy. Hi Simon. Now we've spoke about your roadmap, we've spoken about the progression of your prototype yes. devices that you were showing at IBC yes, that yes. are now shipping. Fantastic. And we've got this last video we're talking about something very new. Tell us, um, tell us all about it. Yes, we recently released some new products and the first one I would like to talk about is the E3 here. Mm -hmm. So this is really a very powerful encoder that I can bring both um, SDI and HDMI in. And not only uh, SDI or HDMI input, you can also combine the SDI and the HDMI with a mixed video. So you okay. can set the videos with SDI and HDMI with picture in picture or picture by picture so we can mix the videos while at the same time you know we can do the encoding simultaneously with both of the inputs so both sdi and hdmi inputs and simultaneously with two streams okay and it can support up to 4k p30 with hdmi inputs while at the same time you know it can support up to uh h265 encoding with all the protocols that can support that means you can use this product for live streaming with RTMP. You can use with SRT for remote transmission. While at the same time, you can use any HX2 or HX3 for your production or any of the other functions. Mm. While at the same time, you know, for the audio parts, uh, we go to the line in, of course, for the embedded audio uh, with SDI, it can be up to eight channels. And for HDMI, it can up to four channels, so it's multiple audio channel encoding. While also uh, we got the PoE, we got um, you know all the other functions with USB. We can do the recording. So this is not only uh, encoder; it's a recorder, it's a kind of multi viewer, a lot of functions. And check from the front panel then we are adding a display to show all the parameters the specifications for you know for the streaming we can show the IP address the bit rate and a lot of the other important functions mm. and we can select and change something here and also we got uh, extra USB extended so we can even you know use the USB to control the PDC cameras so all okay. the functions included in the units and also uh, this display we can also work it as a tally light and uh, we can you know we got all those things to put I, not on. I noticed the mount on the bottom yeah, there. <laughs> on the top of the camera so in general the e3 is a very very powerful with a lot of flexibility and the functions yeah. yeah i mean the flexibility must make it attractive to the whole industry really yes yes uh, yes streaming post-production production yeah you name every it. every you know purpose you need you can just directly choose the e3 yeah. and it's very flexible because we can take different video inputs we can mix it we can you can you can select it or yeah. at the same time and also we you know we can support uh multiple channel streaming simultaneously. So that means uh, at the same time, you can send it to, uh, for your live streaming, you can send it to uh, remotes, or you can also send it through NDI for the production simultaneously. Okay. Uh, with this unit, it can be up to 16 streams to different destinations wow. at the same time. And also the bit rate is really high that we can set up to 100 megabits per Per stream, uh, or altogether, not over to 100 megabits per, okay. per 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 second for the bit rates. Well, you know there are quite a lot of the mm. powerful functions within Absolutely. this unit. And is this shipping now? Uh, not yet. We plan to ship the units by end of March. Okay. Yes. It's part of your roadmap. Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Of course. Excellent. So by the time we're at NAB, you'll be shipping these and... Uh, yes, definitely. Definitely. Fantastic. At NAB, we will do the live demo, of course, and uh, we will shipping all the units. Fantastic. And is there anything else uh, new that we can expect from Kidview this year as well? Uh, yes, of course. Uh, actually, we released the N6, uh, which is a product we released previously, but, um, you know, because of some reason, we stopped that. But now we're bringing it back okay. even more powerful Excellent. and it can do 
uh, HDMI for uh, ND, HDMI to NDI or NDI to uh, HDMI by directional conversion and uh, both full NDI and NDIHX, okay. uh, HX2 and HX3 as well. And also we are adding the display and all those other functions. So it's, it's really amazing. And yeah. of course we will have a lot of other new products coming out in 2023. And probably we will release more products at NAB. Excellent. We'll look forward to that. Yes. Absolutely. Thank you very much. And until then, of course, where can people find out more information? Yeah, they can always visit us with our website, www.kinoview.com. Fantastic. Julia, thank you very much indeed. Do check out the website for all the information on this amazing little device here, the E3 from Kiloview. Uh, we've done another two videos here on the booth as well about their roadmap and their new products. So do check those out as well. For everything else we're doing at ISE, you can, you can see that at uh, kitplus.com.